This video will cover how to change the engine oil and filter on this 2015 Chevy Equinox 2.4 liter. It's the same on a 2010 to 2017 models. We will also reset the oil life indicator when we're done. As you hope in the hood, you look to the right of the engine cover, you will see the oil filler cap. Just below it, you will see the filter cartridge housing and just in front of it, the dipstick. The tools and parts needed for this oil change on this vehicle has a very low spoil on the front to be able to use ramps. So we use a floor jack, two jack stands, two wheel chucks for the rear tires, and an oil pan and funnel, 3 8 drive ratchet with a long extension, a special quarter inch or 32 millimeter socket, a swivel for the end of the extension, a 50 millimeter socket for the oil drain plug, a filter cartridge and 5 gallons of oil. Start with jacking up the vehicle by placing the jack under the front frame and place a jack stand on each side under the frame for safety. Take the oil filler cap off and put in the funnel. This will make your oil come out faster when draining. Using the ratchet and 15 millimeter socket, loosen the drain plug. Then wearing gloves, slowly unscrew it. Make sure your pan is lined up because the oil will overshoot at first. While the oil is draining, you start taking the old filter off. Using a special one and a quarter socket on the ratchet and extension, wiggle your way behind these wire harnesses and place the socket on the top cover of the filter and unscrew counterclockwise. When loosened all the way, pull it straight up and place it over the pan to avoid dripping. Next, take the filter off the cap by pulling it out while holding the cap. This takes a little bit of force. A new o-ring for the cap should be included with your new filter, in which you will swap with the old one. And on one end of the new filter, a small o-ring comes already inserted. Take the large o-ring off the cap and install the new. Then spread some oil all around it. Do the same to the small o-ring on the filter. Insert the new filter into the cover and make sure it's centered. Then snap it in. If it wiggles some, it's normal, as long as it's snapped in. Now that the filter is ready, the old oil should be all drained out of the pan. Place the uh, drain plug back in and tighten to 18 foot-pounds. Wipe up any oil from around the plug. Before inserting the new filter, pull the dipstick out. It makes it easier to have it out of the way while putting in the new filter. After inserting the filter, tighten the cover by hand. Make sure not to cross-thread it. After you hand tightened it, use the one and a quarter socket and tighten to 16 foot-pounds. Wipe off any oil. Reinsert the dipstick. And it's time to refill the engine with new oil. This engine will take 5 gallons, but it's advised to check after 60 seconds or so. Add more if needed, of course. Take the funnel out and replace the cap back on. Next, take your jack stands out. Let down the jack. After running the engine for the 60 seconds I mentioned earlier, check for oil level on the dipstick. Now we reset the oil life to 100% so that the system can calculate the next oil change. Using the cluster screen and the vehicle info buttons here, First turn the key on with the engine off. It will display whatever you have it set at. Press the menu button to display the information screen. Using the up or down arrows, keep pressing until the oil life remaining screen appears. Then press the set clear button and the screen will ask you if you're sure you want to reset. Using the up arrow select yes. Then push the set clear button and the screen will reset to 
to end the programming, hit menu, and you can turn off the ignition. Hopefully this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. You all have a great day.